Hey guys, I tried to convince you in class about how light is important in our study of astronomy and everything we know, almost everything we know about astronomy is based on light. So I decided to make this little video to help you review what we talked about in class. So we saw that when we accelerate a charged particle, an electron or a, pro or a proton, it emits light. Now think about this. Objects of any given temperature are made of particles that contain electrons and protons that are then being accelerated due to the kinetic energy. Therefore, these particles are moving around and emitting radiation. This is called the thermal radiation or black body radiation for historical reasons. So, the amount of light that a, bo that a body emits depends on its temperature. Hot objects like the blue one emit radiation, emit typically more radiation than colder objects, represented here by the red one. Also notice that the blue object, the hot object, emits thermal radiation, emits photons of all energies. It's an entire distribution, it's a continuous distribution, and that's where the word continuous comes from. Photons of all energy. However, there is a peak in the distribution, a higher probability of this blue hot object to emit at this exact wavelength. A colder object also emits photons at all wavelengths, but it has a higher probability of emitting photons at a slightly higher wavelength or lower energy. So, if we observe the continuum spectrum of the continuous spectrum of a star, we can determine its temperature using Wien's law. Oops, you can't really see it, can you? Right there. So Wien's law tell you, tells you that if you determine the peak of emission, the, the wavelength of the peak of emission, you can determine the temperature. Higher temperature, lower wavelength, higher energy, and vice versa. And that's how you can measure temperature stars. Now, soon, we're going to talk about the total luminosity of stars. Notice that this plot here is for two stars that are the same size. So, two stars of the same size, one hot, one cold. The hot one emits way more radiation at all wavelengths than the colder one. However, you may have stars that are very big and cold that can then emit more radiation than that small blue hot star. I'm going to erase my board and come back to talk to you about total luminosity.